Hi, my name is Jenny Wong Stanley. I am a woodbender by trade, and today we are here at my studios at Lawson Foundries located in Oakland, California. I am very excited to have you here because we're going to demonstrate how to make a bentwood iPad holder. So just to tell you a little bit about the final product, this is held together. This is just a piece of uh, white oak held together by a through mortise and tenon joint. So it sits this way and your iPad can go here or you can turn it around. This sits in two positions. You can have it at a lower recline right here and your iPad can sit snugly this way. Before we start steaming, I just want to show you the steaming setup. We have our steam box. This one is made out of red cedar. You can do any cedar. Spanish cedar is great. I have a whole box of Spanish cedar at home. Uh, and you know, you have to have a steaming source. So for my steaming source, I have a Rockware steaming kit. I love this thing. I've used it for over three years now. And it's very, very reliable. You can get full steam within 20 minutes. If you want to quicken the pace of that, you can hook up a couple more of these and it'll lessen your time. So we're almost ready. I'm waiting for this to get to full steam right now. And then once it's at full steam, that is when you put your saturated wood inside the steam box. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about timing right now. The steaming, you don't wanna over steam it because then you're borderline kilning it. We don't want that, right? It's the opposite of what we want. So when we're ready, when this gets to full steam, and you can tell because water's gonna drip out of the release port, uh, release hole, it's just a hole. And there's gonna be steam coming out from the front of the steam box. Wait another five minutes or ten minutes when you see that, and then it's going to be at peak pass. That it's going to be at peak heat. When it comes out of the steamer, it will dry really quickly and stiffen really rapidly. So we're going to do this really, really fast. So here we go. You got to make sure that your wood, the water has penetrated throughout your plank, and this one has. It's been sitting around for like probably a couple hours at this point inside water. So we're going to put this inside our steamer, steaming box. It's at full heat. You can tell because all the steam is coming out. That's what we're going to talk about. We're going to put this in here for 10 minutes. <coughs> Ooh, hot tamales. Really, really hot. So if it is too hot for your fingers, my fingers are pretty callous. So I like to feel the wood. This is going to be quick. This is when it's most pliable, the first the first probably 15 seconds. I'm going to hear this on. And I want to use spring clamps because I'm going to adjust it. All I want it to do right now is to hold it in place. The most important part of this, you don't want it to dry out. I'm spraying is the base. <clears throat> now remember, it doesn't have to be super perfect because we have to modify this one as we go along. So all I'm doing right now, and the most important part, is to get the wood to flatten out. Because you don't want your base to be all <coughs> rounded out, otherwise your eye patch is going to fall out. We have our finished product right here. Our two-way bent wood iPad holder sits this way if you want a little bit more height, and it sits this way if you want a lower recline for your iPad holder. Here we have it. I actually kind of like it this way. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. I am Jenny Wong Stanley from Art of Plan.